Today marks the 55th anniversary of the historic launch of Apollo 11 mission, during which astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first people to land on the moon and walk the lunar surface. On this day in 1969, Armstrong, Aldrin, and Michael Collins launched into space atop an enormous Saturn V rocket. Four days later, on July 20th, Armstrong and Aldrin touched down on the moon, becoming the first humans to walk on another planetary body. Apollo 11 was the culmination of the Apollo program and a commitment by the U.S. to beat the Soviet Union in putting people on the moon, and America remains the only country to land people on the moon. Apollo 11 wouldn't have happened, of course, without the help of a very dedicated ground crew of project leaders and engineers, and there was a Mainer among them. Lindsey Mills got to speak with him five years ago for the 50th anniversary. We copy you down, Eagle. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. An astonishing feat. It was scary, in a way. The crew of Apollo 11 went where no one has gone before. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin leaving the first footprints ever on the moon as Michael Collins waited in lunar orbit. A moment that made the human race pause and recognize what had just happened. I was actually at home watching on TV. <laughs> Nothing thrilling about that. One of those people was George Krasner. There was a lot of disbelief. A lot of people thought that we were doing this for propaganda and that we were doing this so that we could show equality with the Russians. His innovation and expertise in an emerging field. When I first started in the space program, there were no computers, there was no Google, and no information. Were key in helping get the crew to the moon and back. I designed the fuel gauging system for the command module. That's where the three astronauts actually were. And that was for Apollo 11, and it was used in all of the Apollo shots. Two, one, zero, all engine running. But before Krasner and others at the space program could send people to the moon, they had to figure out how to put something else in orbit, something we all take for granted today, satellites. We want to do an experiment, so we just know we have this material which is like that. What started as guesswork eventually evolved into results. Those results proving anything is possible if you try. And at 90 years old, Krasner says it's a lesson that's helped him achieve what was thought to be impossible. Eight, seven, six, five, work stage, engine arm asset, proceed. A moment that hasn't lost its glow 50 years later. When I look at the moon, literally I stare at it and visualize men walking around picking up rocks. To play such a role in American history. Such an important role, yeah. for sure. Great career. Lindsay yeah. Mills, by the way, reporting in 2019. George Krasner died in 2021. According to his obituary in the Portland Press Herald, he enjoyed calling square dances and founded the original U.S. Army helicopter square dance team.